And next comes with a whole set of APIs that allows you to customize it to your very own needs. Today we're going to look at how to leverage NX plugins to use their generators to automate our workspace locally. Let's check it out. So this is an existing NX workspace, which has already an application in here, a couple of libraries. And I also went ahead already to set up such a local plugin. And you do that by just installing the novel NX plugin package. And once you have that package, ideally you have NX console installed such that you can just go ahead and then generate such a new plugin. Now this plugin here consists of two main files that are basically the most interesting pieces here, which is the executors file, which shows all the potential executors that could be hosted by this plugin and the generators, which is what we are interested in. Now I'm not going too deep into how the generator works and is set up. It does just create a small library into our package. So this is what you get pre-generated when you create a new NX plugin here. But we are interested in how we can actually run this once we have such a generator. And running it is actually pretty easy. So we would just use the same commands as we use with all the other generators that we have installed for React or Angular. So that is npx nx, then g, which stands for generator. Then we have the actual scope of the plugin that we want to run. And in our case, if you go to the package JSON, this would be my org workspace extensions. And then basically colon and the name of the generator, which is in our case in that generators JSON, and it's called tooling workspace extensions. We probably want to give it a more descriptive name. So let me just use the dry run and do not affect the structure of my workspace. And now you can see it, it runs. So it asks already for that name input. So let me just do my demo. And then you can see it would create such a library, which is the default implementation of the generated generator here. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.